Hey guys, I know it's been a, quite a while since I did a video, and if you watched my last one about my <clears throat> my project, sorry I'm a little sick, uh, it's come along quite well. This is an, a kind of a modification. If you watched the last video, I bought a partially done project, and uh, I'm getting it put together. Sneak past here. The light in this garage is terrible, so the paint, it doesn't really do it much justice because the, the paint's really decent. So, <clears throat> as of right now, we are pretty close to having this done. It's the 5.3 uh, EcoBoost Twin Turbo, and there's just little things in here to clean up, a little more painting around the engine bay painting under the hood, fiberglass hood. I went with Raptor liner on the grill. Um, the people I got it from the project when they started it, they had a lot of problems with the grill. You can tell that the grill was, it was widened. So this section here, this section here was cut. That's why those, those uh, holes are a little smaller, a little skinnier there. And section together so it was really hard to get this where if I paint it with regular paint to match the hood it would look terrible I spent weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks working on this grill to get it where it was halfway decent where I could put regular paint on it just wouldn't work out I could not get it smooth enough um, all this stuff is really thin I've tried different methods I called the guy and said hey what would be better best to, to smooth these transitions out between this and this um, the width of these these were way skinnier some of them were way bigger so I had to fill this in with a, a two-part epoxy and then grind them out to make them the right size and grind them in to make them match the best I could I did the best I could it doesn't look bad you can't tell with the Raptor liner on it uh, but that's what I had to do <clears throat> This color here is Brittany Blue Poly. It's a 1960s Ford color. The rear axle is apart right now. Um, the people I got it from, it looked like a brand new axle underneath it. Um, you can also see that the airbags are installed and everything. It's dr it was drivable. <clears throat> gas cap the tops redone the windows are all urethaned in there's no rubber sills the same with the front window because the front window is widened because the whole thing was wide nine and a half inches the top's been raptor lined we have a fairly large rag top most of the interior is done right now I'm just finishing up uh, the pile of wires on the floor over there, that's all just extra cutaway wires. Finishing up the vintage air, hooking up all the controls for the vintage air. Um, all that good stuff. Tucking in the Ford racing harness. But as of right now, transmission, it all works. It's got a U.S. Shifts transmission controller. Dakota Digital Gauges. And uh, Dakota Digital, it's a climate control for the vintage air. The guy I bought this off of was talking uh, about a kit for this thing to get rid of the vent windows like you'd see in a 79 that the Broncos had. So I bought that kit because I thought it was pretty cool. It does away with the vent window in the front and gives you this here. It's a smaller triangle. It's probably one third of the vent window size. Don't have the door straps on yet. I went with a uh, stainless steel for the inside of the doors. The doors were all new. The window kit is a single pane window. Gives it a more modern look. 
It's got newer style um, seals for the inside and outside of the window. I wrapped her line the floor of it. I'm still thinking about doing maybe carpet. The dash came out a little different color because I think this got another more coats, like one or two more coats than the body did, so it's just a shade darker, but it didn't turn out too bad. The seats are all power seats. And in the back, they're laying down, but I've got uh, a full three seats in the back so you can take along passengers. They fold up and they also fold forward for like a stowage thing and they'll flip all the way up flat with the back of these and this will be pushed up here where you can actually haul some things behind you, a little bit of cargo. But I still have to finish, uh, get this set where I want it, bolt it down. The guy had cut a plate like a transition plate from here to the the center console. I think I'm going to do something else. That's where the uh, vintage vintage air slash Dakota Digital gauges went to control all the air AC system. I'm going to do something a little different with that. <clears throat> I still have to get wipers. Still have to come up with a um, some kind of headliner for this to cover all this up. And also still need speakers and some other things. And I might like into putting a roll bar in here. But I'm not a vehicle builder by no means. So this has been a fairly large project. This is a full size tailgate in the back. Again, the windows in the top have all been urethane in, so there's no rubber sills. It looks a little more modern and smoother to me, but and it's it's dusty and dirty from sitting here. So, the rear end of this thing is a part because I took it on a test drive to let the transmission learn with that controller and uh, soon found out I'm a dumbass because I didn't check the fluid level in it and it has none. I think this was a new axle they put underneath this because there was no uh, leaf spring perches on it. They did a four link but there was no tag on the axle and I did not think about it. So the first drive pretty much wiped the rear end out. So I'm gonna have to redo that. And the lighting's so crappy in here, guys, but I just wanted to make a small update of what we've been doing and what's going on with this because maybe somebody wonders, maybe somebody wonder what happened to my channel. All right, I'm gonna do a couple videos here shortly of it out in the sun and I'll put in some, uh, some still pictures uh, when it was coming together. Thanks for watching.